15 to 25 percent of Canadians are allergic to one or more type of pollen. Experts say depending on where you live, you could really be feeling it this year. Look the situation. This is all pollen. The entire 401 corridor from Montreal to Toronto had the highest counts, according to Aerobiology. This year was particularly bad for certain cities. Ottawa, uh, Montreal recorded extremely high counts, and I think that there were high counts in Vancouver as well. Here in southern Ontario, birch tree had high counts. In fact, there are numerous types of tree pollen, but the most allergenic is that of the birch tree. Grass releases pollen as well, and so do weeds, like ragweed. It all depends on weather, but traditionally, end of March, April, May, this is tree pollen season. It may vary a little bit depending on the weather, how warm a spring we've had, or if there's been a flash frost or so. May, June, July, you're going to see grass pollen, and then very typically starting in early or mid-August, you're going to see ragweed pollen which peaks at about Labor Day, it then goes down and is usually gone by the first frost. This year, several cities across Canada saw grass pollen season starting before the tree pollen season ended. Thus, a double whammy to the immune system. And if that's not all, some people can be allergic to all types of pollen. So if you're allergic to all three pollens, you're talking about a good six months out of the year that you may be symptomatic. People who have a tendency to become allergic tend to pick these up uh, as a bunch. Uh, it's not unusual for us to see what we call polysensitized people. Keeping your windows closed and the AC on could relieve the symptoms, but who doesn't want to get outside to enjoy the weather? Don't make assumptions. It may not be pollen. It may be a new pet that you purchased. It may be one of many things. And testing is the only way to know for sure. So how can you relieve the itchy throat, watery eyes, and runny nose? We have a very good means of treating allergic disease, either through antihistamines or intranasal steroid sprays. And we also have excellent desensitization measures. And of course, Head to theweathernetwork.com to check your daily pollen count.